my friends! Welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be testing Green Stuff World's Hobby Paint Shaker. Uh, I was curious on this because my favorite paint shakers are both about a hundred bucks. That being the four E's here, which I use almost every day. And it's proven it's worth at a hundred bucks. And, might as well show you the other one. They're both heavy. That's the sign of a good piece. Yeah, all right. My Typhoon paint rack. It's all cast iron. That's why I'm. Uh, that's why it's so heavy. And uh, these two I use every day. And, oops. And um, with the big red one, I can actually put paint cans on it. It actually will mix up my paint cans. But uh, I was curious as to how a uh, eighteen dollar. I think it's eighteen bucks. It's twenty bucks. It's on sale or marked down the eighteen seventeen ninety nine. I believe. Um, bought this direct from the company who's located in Spain, but uh, they shipped it. Reasonable shipping price, and uh, it showed up pretty quick. Now, this one just spins. It's rechargeable, um, and it has uh, adapters, I believe, three adapters for all kinds of paint. There we go, small, medium, and large, and it shows, you know, Green Stuff World upside down, so it looks like uh, it holds the cap, which looks like the same size as Vallejo and all those other brands. But then it goes all the way up to jar. So I went, I grabbed, I grabbed a few. Uh, you guys know how much paint I have here. I have just about every brand. So let's try different sizes and see if this works. And um, let me show you something too. There's a little sticking point here with this piece, as told by a few online and a couple of my viewers. Let's go ahead and take this out. There it is. There's the charge port. It's like a USB mini or USB C. But that's a USB mini. And this must be, uh, oh, that's the rest. All right, this is uh, our adapters and it looks like our charging cable. So let's go ahead and open this up. And dump her out right here. The rubber seems to be sticking. All right, there's the adapters. And here they are one, two, and three. Small, medium, large. And there's a, oh man. That is a short charging cable. I'll use my one for my phone, I guess. Wow, that's short. <clears throat> so, by the sticking point, meaning this is the weak weakness of the unit, I was told by a few of you out there, and uh, the company, I guess, realizes that because they sell them separately. And uh, let me show you what I mean. Oh, these fit in really good. Let's put them over. So, let's pull up my old phone here and uh, this is their site right green stuff world official all right there's the shaker yep 17.99 well, it's got 11 reviews of five stars so it looks like it does perform but here it is two bucks for an extra connector and there's a the little connector so uh, but check this out I don't know if it's over here that they offer it they offer it as a as a, a file an SDL file if you've got a, a, a 3D printing. If you got, there it is. Free SDL for the part. So uh, there it is. You can just download this if you've got a 3D printer, obviously. But uh, you can just 3D print uh, how many you might need. Uh, so that's pretty nice of them to do that, actually. You know, and, and uh, again, it's only 2 bucks for one. So I guess if you guys went and ordered this, throw a couple of these in. If you have a 3D printer, go ahead and just download this SDL file and print your own. So, yeah. Um... I'll put a link below. I got this directly from the company. This is their website. And uh, there it is. Well, of course, depends on how good she is. Uh, so let's see how good this is. All right. So we'll start with their size. All right. Let's see how this pops in here. It just fits in. Button is on the bottom. I think it has three speeds. So let's start with Green Stuff World. You can see the bottom has got all the pigment. The top has not much. This oh fits in there pretty good. There we go. Whoa, that is pretty. Uh, it's got a little bit of a shake to it too. I guess that's to agitate it. It says uh, at least a minute. You should let it go, but uh, looks like it's already mixed up already. Let's see if we can stop it. Yeah, it's not too bad. Now it's got three speeds. I believe it does. Let's see. Yeah, one and two. Whoa! That is... 
That was cranking. Yeah, it's got three speeds. Yeah, and it's mixed. I can see it's all mixed right to the top. So that's not bad. Let's see if we can see it better in this. Nah, I guess we... Let's give it a shot. Let's try it on the Vallejo 2 next. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, all right. This is, uh... This is speed one. Can you shake it a little bit? A little agitated? They recommend putting, uh... Whoa. A shaker ball in it. I don't see it mixing yet. Of course, it's only about 15 seconds. They recommend... They recommend it to be at... Uh, a lot of times, some of the, this uh, pigment at the bottom is quite different. What color is this? Yeah, this is bronze. So that's, that's bronze. It's mixed up. A lot of times, the pigment at the bottom stays there. I got jars here that you can't get the pigment off the bottom forever, but the paint looks even enough, and that looks... Yeah, it shook it up pretty good. Um, let's try different brands here. Let's try uh, Vallejo. That's on low. It's got a vibration to it that I'm wondering if that helps shake it up. No, that shook up pretty good. This was pretty separated. That looks really good. Now, if you want to, put uh, a bearing in a uh, little shaker ball in these. With Vallejo, you know, let me get a cloth here, guys. Maybe I could do it without the plier. Let's see. Yep, I did. There you go. Just drop a shaker ball right in there. And uh, obviously that will help shake up the paint much more than just uh, popping it into this little unit, obviously. Um, well, this is pretty separated, right? We, can we see the... Huh? We can see the medium at the top, the pigment at the bottom. Let's go ahead with this one. What is this? Bronze? Brassy brass. There we go. Let's uh, let's go ahead. See if I can pull this one off. Yeah, it comes right off. All right, let me grab some uh, shaker balls here. Hold on, guys. Let's just see what I have in my collection. Look at that. Plenty of them. Oh, these are large though. Oof. All right, hold on. There we go. We'll get that in there. All right, now let's see what we got. And it, wow, it shook it up pretty good. That's low, it's medium, that is high. And that baby is cranking. Yep, and let's see. Yeah, it shook it up great. All right. Let's give it the old sh test here. I'll put it right in this cloth I just had. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Mm -mm. Ah, it seems a little thin to me still. Let's try it again. This is the whole purpose of this. See if this thing works. I mean, maybe I should be moving it around. Anybody have out there uh, own this thing? As I shout over this uh, this racket, you know? Let me see if the shaker ball is moving in there. No, I can hear it. I think I gotta let it go longer. That's all. Uh, Oh, geez, big difference. Yeah, I had to go another minute or so, 30 seconds. Look at the difference. Huge difference. Yeah, it, it, it shakes it up. I just, uh, turn the, you got you to gotta go, I got to go a minute, right? Let me get this out of here. So, yeah, it shook it up pretty good. Let's try a different size. Now, we know it's going to fit all these. Here's uh, AK Interactive, right? Well, this one's put in way more evenly. Listen, it's not making that rattling sound. But if you touch it here, guys, it's got a really good vibration to it, so it's, uh... So it is agitating it. It is actually shaking it. I thought it was just stirring it, but it's not. 
So yeah, that, that helps quite a bit. That helps quite a bit. This was my silver. Yeah, that mixed it up. Yep, that looks good. So let's try different sizes. We know it works on those. I mean, I laid everything out here, but I don't think I'm going to put them all. Oh, look. That stood behind. I didn't have to uh, put these in all of them, I guess. Let's go to medium size. Get in there. All right. Now, what fits in medium? I'm looking around here. I don't know. Can I put the bottle in? Oh, see? So you can put the bottle in on the other one with the cap, but it will also hold the bottle this way. Let's see if it's got that. Yep, it's vibrating it. Now, uh, this has no shaker ball in it. But I'm wondering if we could just shake her up a little bit with that. Man, oh man, that is pretty powerful. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty even. That was all separated. Yeah, it works pretty good. Now, no, 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 nope, that's going to have to go in the bigger one. I don't know. Oh, wait, let's try all clad. Does that fit? No, let me see the bigger one. Oh, okay, that's going to fit in the bigger one. Now, I could have put the cap in this way, I guess. That's a little loose for me. I don't trust that. I should have tried it with the other one. Oh, man, that's not going to go. No, nope. it has to go in here. Oh, look at that. I can put it in a little bit further, but I'm afraid it's going to go flying, so I'm not going to bother with that. Let's try Zerk. That Zerk paints have a different... Nope. Again, that's probably going to have to go into this one. Yeah. That's why they have that one. Oh, wait a minute. Let's see if it fits in the larger one. It does, but it's a little loose. So Zerk would have to go into here. But it does hold it good. It spins in a proper way where the cap isn't going to unscrew while you're doing it, which is good. However, let's look at Turbo Dork. Now, obviously, it'll, Turbo Dork will fit in the smaller one, but let's see. If, yeah, this will fit in this way. Not that it matters which way it goes in. But. I like that better. That's a little quieter. Yeah, it's vibrating. Wow. I can't hear. Some of these are really going to need a shaker ball, I'll tell you right now. Um, which I put in most of my paints anyway. But maybe it does better by being in upside down. But, again, I didn't let it shake for a long time. Uh... Let's try something weird, like a square bottle. Well, this, oh, look, this will, this is, to me, is uh, enamels. This is going to vibrate because I, shaped like a square. Yep, it'll hold that one pretty good in a beautiful color. What is that? Flat blue. Wow. So that means it'll hold the testers, right? Is testers separated? It is. Let's see. One, two. Wow, this one's really, uh, this one's violently shaking. So it's probably uneven how I have it. I could see the, the plastic. All right. So, yeah, yeah, see, it, it went in uneven. Let's try it again. Yeah, the square shape is throwing it off. Yeah. However, it, it shook it. Look, it shook it beautifully. It, I mean, it mixed it. Look at that. So I, it did work. Um, can I go up to spastics? No. I could probably go that way. I don't know if I want to do that. It's my new copper fire. I let it separate so I can... No, that's not going to fit either. How about street blister? Nope. Nope. Street blisters fit in... Oh, it fits in the larger one. All right, so it looks like the medium one is a little... I don't know. It's not many fit in this medium one. How about A stand? Oh, well, it holds the cap anyway. This is glass. Let's see if it's, uh, you know, it's vibrating. Again, I'm turning it off soon. It looks like if you let it go for the minute, you'll get a full, you'll get a full mix. Not bad. Oh, I can see it spinning around. 
Let's see how it mixed it. Oh, it mixed it good. Look. Because that was all settled at the bottom. Excellent. Well, it worked with that. How about Hobby Mio? No, that's going to have to go in the bigger one. So let's... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Badger. Well, it holds a cap. I'm not too strong, though. Let's see if it'll worked out. This one's much evenly because it, it, it meets up perfectly with the, the holder. Even though it's in perfectly, I think it still, it still vibrates. Yeah, I think it does that on purpose. I think it shakes it in that sense. But you can see it's darker blue here and light blue here. You don't have to wait until the colors match. And I guess then you got to, you know, hold it in different ways. But with that, oh no, it's, it mixed up pretty good. With this, though, it's easy to put in a a shaker ball. But that, that didn't ended up mixing pretty good. Yeah, I never tested these. I should test these uh, Badger paints. How about SMS? No. See how separated that is? I wanted to use that as a demo. Anyway, that's the medium. Let's go in with the large one. And then we can wrap this up. All right, now what fits in here? We'll do the SMS, which I just looked at. Should I put it in upside down? It won't. It won't go in. It's going to stop right there. Yep, and that's not enough to hold it. So we'll put it in all separated, and we'll see what we get. I hope it, yeah, it'll go in. Wow. It's going to be a lot more work for this thing to. Yeah, the vibration, I think, is important to it. Look, the paint isn't really coming down. The centrifugal force is keeping it. That's as high as it's getting. Well, let's see if it mixed up. Wow, that really vibrates. Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, a little bit left there. Oh, this has a shaker ball in. I forgot SMS has the ball. So yeah, mix up pretty good. All right, let's see. Now, let's try uh, Gaia. Where's my Gaia paints? Here we go. Now this is separated. See that? Should we go on upside down or straight up? Oh, this doesn't fit too snug. I'm not crazy about this. Let's try it. Make sure it doesn't come out. Now with them, I would definitely... Oh, wants to come out. See it? That was close. Oof. It's pretty hard to pull out. Uh, let's go ahead and put a shaker ball in one of these. Let's put one in this. This is the new cap, right? Yeah. We'll put one. Probably should put two, but... Let's see what we get. I think like I'm upside down. I'm just oh, it's not going to stay. Nope. It probably should have put in the medium one. I get no, it's not going to fit in that either. This is it. I guess an elastic. Right, guys? An elastic will hold that on. It wants to come flying out. <laughs> yeah, we need an elastic for this. Let me see if I got one. All right. Of course we got elastics in this room. Got everything in this room. So let's see if this will do anything. What do you think? I'm going to double up on this, I imagine. All right. That'll keep her in there. Oops. It doesn't like the elastic. Yeah, it's spinning. But not as good. Something happened to it here. Let's see. I think it charged out. I think I unchar it's uncharged. Oop, there goes the elastic. <laughs> yeah, I think it's... Uh, we lost our charge. Let me see if I can charge this up. Um, it started the mix. Look at that. But, uh, yeah, let me pause the camera here, guys. I'm going to pause this camera. We'll charge it up for uh, a few minutes, and we'll come back, and we'll try some of these bigger jars, and uh, we'll wrap this test up. All right, my friends, we are back. Even though for you it was about a half a second, that was about two hours I let it charge up. So it's an hour and a half to full charge. Well, I plugged it in. 
believe it or not, I had a doctor's appointment. So in them half a second time, I actually drove two cities over for my doctor's appointment, came back, unplugged it. Here we are again. But let's move on with this larger adapter. Now, obviously, the elastics will work holding in the uh, the Gaia. Uh, there's no sense in trying these other ones because, you know, uh, here's Moto. Obviously, it's going to work in Moto. It's the same size. Well, it really shakes up. It has some vibration, but I think it's part of the part of the system here. Let's try it without anything. Yeah, you can hear it. So it's probably part of the old way it's supposed to go. Let's try. What is this? This is this is uh, spastics. Check this out. I wrote to the company. It says, "Listen." I do this on YouTube and I review them. I can't even show your product's name or label because you stuck these tags and I can't get them off. I tried everything, heat and liquid, but ends up taking off both labels. Look at this. Anyway, let's see how this fits in here. All right. This is a big bottle. I don't know if it can handle this. Let's see. Oh, look at that. The silver one right up to the top. Look at the paint right there. Ooh, wind it down. Let's see how that did. Oh, it did great. Look at that. So, yeah, she works. Oh, it won't work on the new copper fire. I uh, My new paint here. All oh, the pigment is on the bottom. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, let's try this. Oh, this should work. I know it doesn't like these. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it doesn't like these square bottles. I know that. By testing the testers and the Tamiya there. I don't know. It looks like it's not doing anything. See it? Let's try it this way. I can see the vortex in there. Can you see it? Yeah, it looks like it's not... Uh, let's turn this off. Hold on. It, oh, well, yeah, nah. I'm sorry. It did. It blended it good. Look at that. Check that out. Excellent. All right. Wicked colors. Let's see if this will work. Oh, it's not going to go in. The cap hits the bottom. It has to go this way. This should fit, though, right? Yeah. There we go. I wonder if these huge bottles are giving it too much of a workout. I'm wearing this thing out. I guess that's why you get extras. Yep, they don't fit it. Pretty good. I mean, I'm doing it. Well, it mixes up pretty good. I only turned it off in about 10 seconds. Check that out. So, yeah, it works It works good. It's. Uh, I really don't have a complaint. Let's see if it'll fit gravity. No, that's not fitting in there for nothing. It's gravity paint. How about gravity from Europe? This is gravity from the USA. This is gravity from Europe. This will probably fit to the cap. Yep. You can see the color blending already. Excellent. So it'll hold that. I guess... The fact that we can flip it over and use the cap really helps a lot. Outlaw paint will probably fit. Yep, outlaw paint. Oh, here's one we should have to try. Look at this. <laughs> it don't like the square. Oh, it's too loose. Let's see if it fits in the medium. Nah, it's probably... Nah, it's too tight. Well, we could do this with an elastic, right? I don't know. Don't try this at home, folks. Nah, that's not... That's a little silly right there. Hey, we're having fun here, right? Let's check this thing out. <laughs> no, the elastic keeps flying off. Uh, ah, forget it. A piece of tape. That's a little loose, too. How about Tamiya's? Oh, not going to fit Tamiya's. Oh, what about uh, Mr. Color? Where's Mr. Color? Here we are. Oh, man, will that fit? Oh, it does. Check that out. So to hold Mr. Color, 
This is the uh, the Gundam line, look, Aquios. So it'll hold that. Holy smoke! Like a plane taking off. Wow. <clears throat> that works. So the Tamiya obviously will work. So let's try Despay. Oh, this is kind of loose. Well, let's keep our hand on the top. Let's get that shake to it. Let's go a little faster. Oh, this one is flying out for some reason. The bottom. Nope. Flew out. <laughs> well, there you go. Uh, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, with all the different uh, interchangeable heads, you can pretty much uh, mix quite a few of these. Uh, not all of them. Let's try uh, the new Cobra paints. No, nah, so you can actually get it to, to pop in one way or another. Yeah, well, obviously, you're not going to fit these. You're going to have trouble with the big square jump wins. It'll probably hold the... Yeah, it'll hold testers, which means it'll hold my older uh, line here from my my Mecha Empire enamels. It'll hold them. So you got a good variety here. Oh, it'll hold the Hobby Mios. So yeah, uh, you know what? It works. So uh, it does work. It's only eighteen bucks. My favorite cheap paint mixer is this. Or the Badger, about the same, different switch. But the problem is it's good for little jars. It's not great for these. It's such a pain to pop that off. So uh, a lot of the jars don't really, uh, particularly, I would say, acrylics. Because all acrylics seem to come in these bottles. And uh, let's see here. These uh, Custom Force is in a different size bottle, but those will probably fit in here. Yeah. So those will fit in there. But... Uh, yeah, so, let me see. That's the thing. The acrylics, it really helps with these because you don't want to pop that open and drop those. Uh, where's my bulb bearing thing? This container of them. So drop those in a lot of them. But uh, I know you got to pull it off of that anyway. But to go in here with this, it's really a little more messy to work with than a larger bottle like this in the Mr. Color I use these on, which are great. Uh, but primarily I will use, oops, primarily I will use my uh, my 4E's or my Typhoon paint shaker. The Typhoon one's great because I can put a spray can on it. I put it upside down. You can hear the ball jingle. Shakes it up beautifully, 30 seconds. Yeah, But then again, it's $100. If you're a serious painter, it's a great investment to have a good paint mixer. Um, intermediate, you don't want to spend too much. It is good because... Uh, when I do a test, and I do a, you see me do a lot of tests with the, a lot of colors. I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here. I used to shake these things, you know, up until like a year ago, until I bought these good uh, paint mixers, and my hand started going. Then I started, you know, I'm right-handed, and uh, when I went to airbrush, my hand was worn out, and I had to airbrush, you know, 30 colors sometimes in some of these tests that I do. So, uh, a good shaker if you're going to do a lot of work here, and um, a good paint shaker is is good to have. But at 18 bucks. Not bad. Gets the job done. It comes with enough adapters. It's wire. It's uh, rechargeable, so it's wireless. Um, it's not bad. Uh, it, it gets the job done, like I said. So, uh, but if you're gonna have, depends on what you have. If you've got these kind of paints, this is a good option to purchase. If you have these kind of paints, um, and that's all you use is solvent type paints, then just go with uh, one of these. If you don't want to spend, uh, you know, the hundred bucks, the ninety bucks, like. Uh, I do on mine. And uh, yeah, that is it. That is the test. And uh, I want to show you one more thing before we go. I want to let you guys know that my new paint line uh, has passed production and the labels are done. So we're waiting for them to come together and ship. It looks like we're going to have them before March is even over. This is just some of the colors. My red, which is I'm really proud of. This is Nocturne Red. Look at this. This is it over black, gray, white. Isn't that awesome? It's like this anodized metal. Here is my uh, lime. It's like an anodized metal. I took the lime and sprayed clear green over it and got that. So, 
All kinds of goodies are coming. I got more colors than this. I got a dark green, different blue. Um, very excited for you guys to see it. Very excited. And uh, that's coming up soon. I have a big announcement to go with it. And that includes international shipping. Uh, this is going to be a big deal. So, uh, yeah. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell. We try to do two videos a week. And uh, think of my Patreon. If you have specific questions, we chat back and forth on Patreon. John, yours is coming up. I keep post-it notes. Um, coming up uh, probably before my next YouTube video will be a metallic blue base with uh, he wants, well, not these, but he wants a color filter from metal filter from Green Stuff World on top of the blue. So red metal filter on top of the blue. That's a question that he asked. I will perform that for him personally on my Patreon channel. Anyway, guys, that is the test. We will see you in the next video. I want everybody to have a wonderful rest of their week. We'll see you over the weekend. God bless you all. Have a great day.